Before the move to the new building in 1985, prior and existing staff held a costume ball in the now deserted Hackett Hall. There was dancing and entertainment. My contribution was a tongue-in-cheek poem about the old building. There's an old building north of town, and it's just about falling down, as its erection occurred nearly 82 years ago. Now we've got a brand new building, but I'm certainly not gilding the lily to say the pace of its construction has been slow. The present building's history has been something of a mystery, so this poetic parody will attempt to shed some light on all those incidents sublime that do happen from time to time, but there's no guarantee my interpretation is quite right. It was then young J.S. Batty, in a mood described as ratty, due to a surfeit of bonhomie the previous night, held his rhythmically pounding head and in sepulchral accent said, giving, I might add, his poor staff one hell of a fright. I hate our cramped up area. It fair drives me to hysteria. Enough, get me the colonial secretary on the phone. Well, Batty went straight on the attack and the poor coal sec taken aback, offered in a most proper yet strangely placatory tone. Well, I can categorically state it will be up by 1908, if that's all right with you, of course, my dear old chap. You really have to be kidding, said JSB quite forbidding. I have never heard such an absolute load of crap. Oh, the poor coal sec, he went pale and tucking an imaginary tail between his legs, offered to knock five years from the date. Say that's absolutely terrific, said JSB, now quite pacific. It's been bonza doing business with you, mate. Only a mere eight years had passed, but the library filled up fast. More space, the staff were often wont to yell. Dr Batty, he heard the call, and so he got us a hack at hall, our lovely sloping tables, and of course that bloody bell. Now the head of our unruly mob just happens to be Uncle Bob, who came to us originally from Tasmania, you see. It has taken us five long years full of frustration, sweat and tears, but like Moses in the desert, he's led us to the ALB. Well, folks, that's the old SRL story, and as we stand here amidst faded glory, contemplating the many years of luxury which ahead may loom, will we, I think, ever wonder if we haven't made a blunder and wish we'd never left old State Ref Library's protective womb? So when you're stuck in that stupid lift, feeling ever so slightly miffed, and the air conditioning is either too hot or too cold, when another bout of flu has gotten its hooks into you and that damn computer won't do as it's told, when you're feeling slightly paranoid by the proximity of the void and the lack of staff is depressing you more and more, as you contemplate that last leap into everlasting sleep, your thoughts may turn to that neglected building next door. Though its facilities have been poor and we've used annexes galore, I surmise we'll miss old SRL more than we think. She's been quite a grand old friend and here my story must end, so for God's sake let's all buzz off and have a drink.